Hi, I'm Kathy Benty. Um, and how did you get involved in art? Um, it's a long and circuitous journey, my art history. Um, I always drew as a child and liked art during high school, and that was the uh, career I chose, fine arts. So after a year in fine arts at Mount St. Joe in Cincinnati, um, it was wonderful, but I realized I didn't think I had the creativity to make any money. So I went into art education, and I ended up um, changing to the College of Business. So from my mid-20s, I didn't do anything more with art until I retired here to the mountain. So how did you get started back with art once you got here? Um, that's interesting also. I had, I, I had a new friend here in our community. I knew her for a couple of years before I moved here, Annette Rougeau, who was a very talented oil artist. And she was a, quite a supporter of SNCA. She knew, she gleaned that I had some art talent and um, really insisted that I pursue it. So I like watercolor. And the only thing that um, she knew that there was, I think at the time, were oil classes. But anyway, no, no, no. Because Becky Peebles was teaching at SNCA and she was teaching a watercolor class for people who had been painting. So Annette introduced me to Becky. I went to the first class and I audited it. And Becky lent me her supplies and gave me something to paint. And I did that and I loved it, but I felt so overwhelmed because everybody was so talented that I thanked Becky and said that I, I probably wouldn't be coming back. And that was the reason. So then um, Annette and Becky, who knew each other, decided that it was a good opportunity to start a beginner watercolor class. And there was an interest, there were enough of us to start the class. And that was in um, sometime in 2012. And um, it's become a love, you know? It, the, the classes are, just wonderfully structured. Um, it's, you, you're welcome if you can attend consecutively or not. And they're structured so that it's not something that you have to be there every week. And Becky's wonderful, wonderful teacher. Is um, watercolor the only medium you use or do you use oil paints or mainly just watercoloring? Now, I use, I use water. In, back in the day, I did oil, acrylic, um, etching, charcoal, pen and ink, but watercolor was what I loved. And because it had been so long since I had had any dabbling in any of it, um, you, you could really do watercolor forever and still keep learning about how the water and the color and the paint and the papers and everything all work together. Anyway, that's, I love watercolor. I haven't um, done anything else recently. Um, so kind of building off of that, what are your motivations and goals with your art? My motivations, let's see, it's relaxing. It is, um, I think about it. You know, sometimes when you're looking at nature and you're walking, just looking at anything, I try to think how, how could that transfer into a painting? Um, when I'm trying, well, the motivation, let's see. I, I like to paint things that I see. If we travel, I take a picture, I sometimes paint it. Uh, if my daughter has a cat, which she does, I painted the cat as a present for her and it turned out beautifully. If I, I mean, I know, I know what Axel looks like and I know that the painting turned out and looked like Axel. <laughs> um, the, one of the first things that I 
did, but nostalgia. It, I grew up in a large family. And so I had a gicle print made of it and gave to each of the family. So the motivations are different. I had, um, I was requested by my son-in-law to paint the Provincetown Tennis Club. And I did that. That's Provincetown, Massachusetts. He was the tennis pro at that time. And so different motivations, requests from people or things that I think might touch someone's heart. You know, if I've been there and sat on their patio and they've got a beautiful pot of geraniums, that becomes a little thank you. It's, it's really not, do I see myself um, supporting myself with art? No. It's a hobby or um, a creative outlet. It, it's wonderful, actually. Uh, what would some advice be that you would give someone if they were considering doing a watercolor class or really any of the um, painting classes that SNCA has to offer? Um, I would say if you are thinking about it or you're looking for something to um, express some creativity, don't be afraid. Because uh, I'm going to give you a for instance in Becky's class, if she does a um, you know a lesson, a technique, and we all do it, and there might be ten of us there at a time, at the end of the class, or even as it's being done, everybody's is different, and everybody's everybody is ooing and awing at the other person's. Do you know? It's. Yeah. What I'm, what I'm saying is don't be afraid and don't think that you're not good enough because a lot of us do that. A lot of us think that, oh, we can't, we can't. And you can. And Becky is one who can, um, she just has such a gift for teaching and for seeing the potential in whatever it is that you're putting down. Oh, she'll help you. She will tell you, well, why don't you try X, Y, Z? And um, it, it all works. But she's, it's, not ex, it's not an exact science. It's not something that you're going to fail at. And it is the camaraderie in the class, in, the, in my experience. Now, I've been going off and on since 2012. And the class has shrunk and it has grown and it shrunk and now it's really grown and it's all different people. And no matter what, you make good friends and it's an outlet. 